what's going on y'all so hey just got back from the pool i swam 26 football fields i swam over a mile and a half for the first time in my life i'm pretty happy about that hey, every time i go on monday it seems like things just start just keep getting better and better monday is my long day to swim i try to swim at minimum of an hour but today i got quite a few things going on this is what i plan on doing so i plan on putting the seeds down in the in the wildflower bed today but i got some other things going on that i gotta do first so i'm planning on taking the lawnmower and to get service today so what i gotta do i gotta get the trailer hooked up to a four-wheeler get the lawnmower put in the trailer and then i'm gonna take it in now i'm saying i love the mower that i have but i can't do nothing but mow with it so today while i'm there at the dealership i'm gonna talk to him about some tractors because i think i could do lines with a tractor just as easy i mean it might not be just as easy but it would be more like riding and i could also use a tractor to help me with these trails now i'm not trying to get anything too big but i think i'm gonna go and look and see what they had to offer and how much they gonna be got it up here and that's where we came to Let's take a look at what they got out here. It don't look like they got many trackers out right now, but I ain't looking for nothing that big. But boy, I would love to have something like this. Hey, my bad, it's kind of windy out here. So I came up here and I'm looking for a tractor. But boy, I would love to have one of those right there. Boy, that would be amazing at home. I want one of them. <clears throat> Or even one of those gators they don't have a bunch of tractors but this is what i'm looking for if i can get something like this right here is a mower but smaller maybe this size blade and then i can put attachments on the front of it it looks like they got gravely which i like gravely they make pretty good, nice mowers and john deere i ain't seen no john deere's yet all right, let's take a look, see what they got. And that's all I need right there. That's all I need right there. That boy too big. There go the mower. Yeah, we'll get you up. We'll go in there and we'll talk with Eric and we'll get you brought up. All right. What's going on, y'all? So, oh, so we're putting down some seed in the wildflower bed today. I told y'all I was going to tell you what kind of seed I got. So here it is. This is Eden Brothers. It's pure seed, no filler. This is supposed to be one pound right here. I'm gonna be putting this down. We're gonna put this in the bucket. This is uh, Mountain Valley seed. Uh, I don't remember how much this was, but we're gonna be putting this in. Then I got some cone flour. It's purple cone flour. It's 6,000 seeds. Just putting that in. Got some milkweed seeds. That's just common milkweed. And this is lavender. So we got 500 lavender seeds. We'll be putting that in. And then I have this wildflower mix. It's just Pennington. I normally put down the orange bag too and this one, but this is all I had from last year that I didn't put down. So I'll be putting this down this year. And I got two of those. So I'll be putting those down. So what we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna be mixing it with the sand and I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna throw it out 
as evenly as possible. It's still some seed in here from last year. So I'll show you some pictures and stuff of what it came out like last year. I put up a little bit of video, but basically this is the same thing I did last year, except for I tried to use the little Sun Joe Tiller, it didn't work. And then uh, I went ahead and used Roundup and everybody gave me a hard time. And this year I got somebody to come out and till it up for me. And so the seed and stuff that was there from last year should still still be in there. Should, so I should get a good uh, return off of that. And I'm putting down this seed this year. And then in the spring, I'm going to try and get some more seed and put some more seed down in the spring. I had some areas back in that area where it didn't grow too good. I don't know if it's because I didn't, you know, break up the dirt good enough or if it was because of, you know, just bad conditions back there but i'm saying this year everything should have better conditions it still should be some things in there i did put some milkweed roots in there so all this stuff should come back and hopefully this next year it'll be better than it was this year hey let's see how it come out y'all hey this your boy we're about to get this seed down right quick and i'll let y'all see how it come out here we go mix it in here there's one mixed in That's just mainly filler anyway. And hopefully we get it mixed in good so everything, nothing is, I don't want anything to be close to each other. Every seed counts. I had more of this kind of bag, but it's nothing but filler in these. So this is, I'm adding more good seed, I guess, this year. Then filler. Because mainly all I had last year was filler. So hopefully, Next year, it's gonna look better. I'm almost guaranteeing it is. I don't see why it would. I mean, I made every condition better, so you would think with making every condition better, it should turn out better, but it is nature. I could put all this seed down and every seed could die if it stays warm like this, but I don't think they're gonna germinate, so. I'm putting them down in the fall. It is right now, um, what is it? Today is November 23rd. Twenty twenty. So here's the lavender seeds. Let's see what those look like. Whoa, those are pretty small. Lavender seeds. All right, put those in. Now all I'm gonna do Ow. Let's mix it up. Oh, let's get some gloves on first. That don't get hurt with it. Mix it up good. Let's get that turn me out. Get it mixed in as good as you can. Try and get the sand mixed in good with it. But see, since it was mainly filler, I didn't do it equal parts sand. The sand is just to make it visible. You don't have to use equal parts of sand. It's just to make it so you can see where you threw the stuff. And to get it so you mix it in equally. So, once you get it mixed in good, I mean, it's a wildflower bed. It doesn't matter how they get mixed in, you know? It's seed. You just want the seed where the seed goes. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take the seed and we're going to start throwing it in the wildflower bed by hand. Let's do it. Just take a handful, cast it out. I'm not casting it far.
actually i feel like that was pretty light that was pretty light like i feel like it was a lot of area i didn't cover i don't know how i feel about that like maybe i should have used more sand but what i need to do now is just next year i got to get more seed and that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna get more seed so what i decided i'm gonna do with the trail is i'm gonna make the trail come around here and then cut through back through that way and so all of this will be area i won't have to cut with the lawnmower basically i'm trying to make my yard more fun and enjoyable and less just turf that you have to keep cutting like this cost me more money and i don't get to enjoy it nearly as much as the trampoline area the wildflower bed like this is less main maintenance like I, i'm not spending hardly anything on this once a year and i don't have to do anything to keep it cut and that saves me a lot in gas and wear and tear on my lawnmower so the trails that's a nice place for me to go walking and it's a place to have fun like i mean you know four-wheeling and and riding the bikes with my kids just playing with my kids in the, in the uh woods like that's area that i don't have to worry about cutting so i'm never gonna cut that down and so then little areas like this where the grass never grows good because i got this area up here this is gonna be my donut excuse me my little donut spot right here i guess i'm gonna get this gravel out by tearing up the grass right here and this will be one little bad spot in the yard with this wildflower bed and i think it's going to end up looking better over time it might not look good right off but i think this will be a good sitting area up here and i can keep my wood right there or move my wood it won't matter but anyway these are the little plans that i got in the yard hey i went I went to the store today and I saw that tractor. Uh, I don't know if it's time yet. Well, let's see what the numbers say. Let's see what the numbers say. If the numbers say it's time, then I'm going to say it's time. Because that lawnmower that I have, it's not going to do anything but lose value the longer I have it. So if I, go in, if I wait two years and I t try and do a trade, I got to come up with a difference in money. And what I'm saying is, if it's zero percent interest that's same as cash and uh cash is what i'm trying to spend so i don't see how that would hurt me i'm not paying any interest on it so it might be the uh, the beneficial thing for me to do in the long run even though it's a bill that i don't want to take on but let me get out of here uh back to the wildflower bed this is an update and this is basically what i did last year minus the tilling so what I improved on it this year is uh, I used about the same amount of seed as last year, this year, but I used better quality seed. I tilled the soil instead of spraying, because last year I sprayed with Roundup. So the Roundup could have killed some of the seed because I don't know how long after I sprayed you had to, but it did pretty good. So this year there was no Roundup added, no chemicals have been put down here at all, and it was tilled. Now all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the four-wheeler and ride over it a couple times, and that's just gonna be to push the seeds down into the soil. I'm not gonna water it, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm gonna let nature take its course. But anyway, that's the wildflower bed. I mean, basically y'all just went through a day with me. That's another Monday in the books, y'all. I'm gonna turn this one off and get it edited up. I just wanted to show y'all that right quick and uh, that's how I did the wildflower bed. So here's the start of next year's update of a wildflower bed. Or this is just going to be an ongoing process because as long as I'm in this house, which I'm hoping I can get a bigger yard someday, but as long as we're here, I'm going to keep updating this. So stay tuned. Stay with me. Hey, this is your boy. I'm about to go get on that four wheeler right quick. We out. <laughs>